After losing his majority in the parliamentary elections, Japan's Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba has vowed to reform his Liberal Democratic Party. He blamed poor handling of political fund scandal for people's distrust and anger, as he vowed to continue in office so as not to create a political vacuum. Now, while Shigeru Ishiba has ruled out a wider coalition as mandated by the constitution, the parties now have 30 days to figure out a grouping that can govern. Ishiba had called for snap elections days after taking office on October 1st, but his gamble backfired with the ruling party's worst result in 15 long years, leaving no party with a clear mandate to lead the world's fourth largest economy. <laughs> Our Liberal Democratic Party and the Komieto Party, which together make up the coalition government, have lost so many talented people and it is very regrettable. The Liberal Democratic Party must take this matter seriously, reflect on it from the bottom of our hearts and be reborn. According to the final tally, the LDP won 191 seats in the lower house of the parliament, together with ally Kumetho, which won 24 seats. It got a total of 215 of the 465 seats in the powerful chamber of the parliament, but below the 233 seats needed for the majority. Japanese citizens say the problem lies rooted in a rising distance between the government and its people which they say needs urgent correction. They point at the economy and national security being the biggest issues of the day. Even if he continues, I still hope that the slush fund issue will be settled and that Japan's economy and security issues will be addressed properly. They must really listen to the people. I think they suffered such a big loss because they did not listen to the people. Because for a long time they conducted politics by putting themselves at the center. I think the outcome was the result of people across Japan wanting to change the current situation in the country. The uncertainty arising from the result has sent Japan's currency, the yen, to a three-month low as investors and analysts prepared for days or possibly weeks of political wrangling to form a government. Now, Professor James D.J. Brown, Professor of Political Science, Temple University, Japan, has some insights on the story. Take a look. Well, I think the, the real question to begin with is whether he can remain as the head of this party, as whether he can remain in the position of prime minister. He's only been in this role for a matter of weeks. He took the gamble of calling an early election and he's received a very serious rebuke. So in ordinary circumstances, you would expect the leader of the party to step down. However, given that he's only been in the role for such a short period of time, given that there's no obvious uh, replacement at the moment, he might try and hang on. But to be honest, even if he does try and hold on to the position, it's, he's likely to be an exceptionally weak prime minister and to only hold the role for really a very short period of For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.